set of salt at Port Headland. This is pre-sunrise at the last caravan park uh, before we get to Broome. And those are our tents and so forth over there beyond those trucks. Unless those RVs have air conditioners in them, I think they'd be stifling hot. Here it's quite muggy, high humidity compared to uh, every place we've been up, to, to, up until yesterday afternoon, which was dry and hot. This is pretty hot, but not as stifling hot as it was in Karajini National Park. an early morning look at this huge beach. The beaches over on this west side seem to be um, really long shallow beaches reaching out into the Indian Ocean as opposed to the southern part where there were steep cliffs and uh, sometimes no beaches. And the uh, pattern of different size, different kinds of little beasties that run around at night. It's fun to try to understand what it was they were doing or where they were going. It'd be nice to even see them. <laughs> but here this one came to look at this piece of wood and then did an angle left and then another sharp right angle to the beach. On the other hand, I may have it reversed. It might have been low tide because it couldn't be more than about 6.30, 7 o'clock right now. And the tide's way out there because I walked out earlier this morning and went up to get my camera. Some kind of critter at work. The shells that populate beaches, some beaches. And these are a whole bunch of little critters that apparently have burrowed back in there for the next 12 hour tidal shift. Either that or it's some animals come in and dug down for them. I, this is interesting because this critter leaves little uh, tubular chunks of sand somehow at the top. Like it goes down, brings it back up and deposits them and here's something that's made little balls. Uh, don't know anything about all this, just a myriad of questions and lots and lots of sand dollars. The flies and mosquitoes were zero last night, but the flies are out on me again this morning. Not as rapaciously as in Karajini National Park, but uh, still there, it's still, of course, annoying. The sun getting ready to break out. A 
the shorebirds that I don't recognize. Now this area of the beach is just totally littered with what I call sand dollars. And it looks like of different designs. There's a star and there's another star but of a different design. Same with that one over there. Perhaps some of not like snowflakes though, apparently they're so far just about two designs that I see. Keep that one as a souvenir. Compared to the waves breaking on the beaches in the southern coast, these are almost languid. Almost reluctant to go through the total effort of going very far up on the beach and then just kind of dawdling about when they get there and instead of racing back in with a sideways riptide And the water this morning is actually warm, not even cool. It's slightly warm. And some of the showers we've taken, not here, but down in and other places, were warm showers, even when all you turned on was the cold. Apparently in Broome, they tell me, they don't, many people just turn off their water heaters during the wet season or the, what is the summer. I'm thinking that this is just a bubble, but it's not. Uh, I think it's probably a, some portion of or a minimal portion of a jellyfish. And you notice right the right hand side, something's moving, pulsating. So this is some kind of a living organism, most likely a jellyfish. But I ain't about to touch it because sometimes these can be very, very nasty. Almost looks like a magnifying glass. Like you can see, it's, uh, but I don't know that it's magnifying anything, it just looks that way. It looks like an eye also. Hmm. I wonder if it could be a big fish eye. I think this is another design, only that it appears to have two little holes at the top. I have no idea what this is, unless it's the cuttlefish, but I don't think so. It's also interesting that at various parts of the beach, like this one right here, um, one particular kind of dollar shell dominates. And that's this one right here. The one with the perfect, or the five petals, like this one right here, doesn't seem to dominate. And I think I'll walk up and see what's going on on the other side of those dunes. As I look at these shells, which are the remnants of lives lived, I'm reminded of a counterpoint phrase, and I think one of uh, Janet Ian's, Eden's, Eden's, something like that, um, the singer's songs, which is, How many creatures see the sunrise? These, of course, did and no longer do. But as I say, a counterpoint against the billions of things that see the sunrise each day.
Those look like the beaks of some bird that drops them like alpaca antlers. See, this is the cuttlefish here, apparently. At least I reckon my, recognize that inner white part, which is almost like styrofoam. But see, I'm not sure that that's the same thing as, as this, in a way it's not. The cuttlefish doesn't appear to have any pointiness to it. Again, the end, nighttime roamings of whatever lives probably in this patch of grass. The intersection of his travels are those of others, too. Maybe there are some beings that don't wish to see the sun. pretty easy to see how these grasses, whatever they are, are the critical element that holds sand dunes together, stabilizes them, keeps them from roaming back further. Although probably these hills that we see, just even these low ones are all sand dunes that have been stabilized eons ago. This is another kind of whatever those sand dollars were, only this one's not. It's more like a sand pile of dough, handful of dough. <coughs> Perhaps that's its mouth right there, the anus, perhaps. But notice the thickness of this. Yet still that star kind of look, although this is four points, maybe the fifth would have been implied here. And then these little circle things, which are kind of cute. And they look like they're random. Don't know that, as opposed to the others, which seem to have very precise designs. I want to come back down towards the shore, but I want to explore this little depression here that runs along back from the present water, probably a couple hundred yards into that depression over there. Even though the water or the tide has not brought the water this high for many, many hours, it is still draining like some vast drainage system you might see looking down on China or Mongolia from an airplane. And here, the, the speed of the runoff is interesting. It's fairly quick running off from what looks like dry sand above it. But it's leaching slowly out of that whole beach, apparently, down into this little tributary back to the ocean, which in the middle of its runoff strips away all the sand from the shells. Fairly long, but I think it's strong. There you go, Thank you. No <laughs> But notice there's another little sign up ahead. Yeah, that says, says 15. Same. <laughs> yeah, right. Because I've been hitting. 